Ta -da! Right, we have a crazy, crazy setup right here. Um, we have two arrow presses, we have two servers, we have two scales, and and all all of the mess is just for this little guy right here. This is the Acer filters. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it spells like that. Acer filters. All right. So this is a very popular um, AeroPress filter that they use in World Championships, right? And I managed to get my hands on one, right? Um, they say that the Acer filters are thicker than the normal AeroPress filters. In actually one of the forums that I've read, uh, some of the people on the forum said one Acer filter is actually equivalent to three AeroPress filters. And in World Championships, most of the most of the competitors in the world stage, they actually use multiple um, AeroPress filters, right? So, um, for today's video, we're gonna um, compare the difference. Ooh. It's very thick. I can feel it in my hand. Right. So for today's video, we're going to do two different um, AeroPress brews side by side. One using the Acer filter and one using just the regular AeroPress filters. But I'm going to use two because that's my, um, that's my um, current recipe for the AeroPress right now. So... So the coffee that we're using today is from Black and Bold. This is still one of the coffees that Anna bought me. Um, we're gonna do my current recipe that is 18 grams of coffee to 200 ml of water. So let's weigh 18 grams. And we're gonna do 23 clicks on the Comandante. Right, we have one batch of 18 grams. Okay. Um, my, aero, my current AeroPress recipe right now is an inverted method. So we're gonna put the coffee here first so we can grind for another one. Okay, we're gonna weigh another 18 grams. Let's prepare the other um, arrow press. Okay, now um, we need two different scales for the water. So I'm gonna use the a sear with the full size, the standard one. And then the AeroPress Go is going to use like the standard AeroPress filters. So we have our water ready. Now we're gonna put in 100 grams on both of them. And then swirl. And then swirl. Okay, at exactly one minute, I'm going to put another 100 ml on each of these um, arrow presses. Here we go. And then this one. Let's prepare the paper. So for the arrow press go, I'm going to use a standard um, arrow press, but we're going to use two filters. And for the arrow press standard, we're going to use one piece of Acer filters. Let's flip them both. And then at three minutes, I'm gonna start pressing for the AeroPress Go. Okay. Okay. 
and I should finish at around 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, now the AeroPress standard. 59, okay. Surprisingly, the Acer filter is easier to press. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of pressure on the double on the double filters on the right side. Okay, I finished 358 on the AeroPress Go. So we're gonna try to finish at the same time with the AeroPress standard. Alright. Pull back a little. So you create a vacuum and then we're gonna put this here. All right, now we're gonna try. Um, I just want to mix this first. Okay, and then this one. Okay, I'm gonna try the um, regular, I'm gonna try the regular standard filter first. Mm, that is very enjoyable now. Um, yes, there is chocolate and blueberries again. This, um, this coffee is Limu from Ethiopia. Oh, there. It's chocolate, blueberry, and honey. Same feedback as the ones that uh, I've made before with this recipe. The, 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 the coffee is very um, flavorful, but the body is a bit thin. But it's very sweet. There is some brightness to it. I can actually taste the blueberries. Yeah, and the aftertaste lingers. Oh my god. Okay. That is actually quite good. Now I'm gonna try the one. I'm gonna try the coffee brewed with the Acer filters. Immediately the color is different. Um, maybe the consistency is different as well. This looks thicker. Oh. Okay. This coffee is... Um, a lot brighter this one right here the body is very thin let me try wait wait let me try one more so this coffee you have the chocolate taste and the blueberry taste side by side so they're it's very balanced right it's very balanced but the body is a bit thin right so it's balanced and very thin Okay, this one, the coffee made with the Acer filter, there is chocolate, but it's more bright. It's actually more bright than sweet. There is some sweetness to it, very low sweetness. And it's very bright, right? It almost tastes like, um, almost tastes like a V60. Yeah. But the body, again, the body is a bit thin. Of course, because of the because of how thick the, the paper is, it's going to be like that. Um, I'm guessing that the Acer filter can benefit from finer grind size settings. Um, for a different recipe that has a finer grind setting, but you don't want to over extract or you don't want to put astringency into your cup, I think the Acer filter might be your best tool. But like my recipe right now that I found on the internet and I forgot who owns it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But the recipe that I'm using right now with the coarse grind setting, um, I'm really liking this. Um, I'm really liking this cup. Because by using double filters, you are avoiding microfine particles from passing through the paper. So that's my conclusion. If you have an AeroPress recipe that is using a finer grind setting, you can benefit a lot from the Acer filters. But if you are using a coarser grind setting just like mine, um, the, the standard AeroPress paper filters and then double it, that should be fine, right? Thank you, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee now, but for now, 
Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!